Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa. I am a Pisces, um, also known as Green Night Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook as well. So guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. I think you'll find that as a Pisces with a lot of different placements in my chart, I love to do all kinds of different things, but anything, again, pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. Feel free to book with me if something resonates, if you like my energy, if my energy vibes with yours, please feel free to book. I always have different specials going on, so please make sure you follow on all kinds of media platforms. That way you don't miss out on anything. Um, again, these are always very general, guys, so don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps me out. And yeah, with all that being said, you guys, again, know how much I love and appreciate you. I hope that these resonate with you guys. And Let's get right into the videos. I love you guys. Mwah. Okay. Hey Virgo, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. All right, let's sage really quickly, guys. We're gonna sage together. And then we will get into your reading. I literally just heard stop with the perfectionism, Virgo in regards to your partner i guess like trying to be perfect or trying to almost like trying they're almost like saying like like trying to appear as if you don't have any faults or any flaws or something like that you know like they're saying don't do that be vulnerable allow yourself to be vulnerable allow yourself to for people to see that you do also are human you know what i mean like you can make mistakes you can be sad you can get angry like you have mood swings you know that's the first thing i heard first channeled message for you guys ah. My sage keeps like ashing everywhere, you know? At any rate, okay. So for Virgo, let's see. All right, so for my Virgos, my Virgos, my Virgos, my Virgos. My Virgos who are watching now. And my Virgos who will be watching later. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got for Virgos? Oh, thank God I caught it. Second chance. Yes, yeah, some of you here. You know what? Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Actually, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio different pages yep you some of you are definitely dealing with a scorpio holy crap let me get one more there's a couple mm, is this the same energy let me see what else for my virgos hold on is this the same energy or we got two things going on here let's see for my virgos anything else thank you longing someone's secretly yearning for you okay so hold on i think we, we there's probably hold on i think there's two things going on here hold on hold on hold on hold on There's two things going on here. Yeah, well, no, there's one. It's one, it's one. Okay, with the retrograde going on here, yeah, this is one. This is one energy I'm getting here. This is one whole energy. So there's somebody, Virgo, that you guys have here that somebody's secretly yearning for you for sure. It's something that's destined, okay, and deserves a second chance, but you and this person don't share the same vision right now. Like, you're not on the same page right now at all. So this could be a lot of you that are in separation from your person right now. That's what I'm getting. Because this, I'm getting that this, you guys are not together right now. So, I, I don't see anything new coming in for anything. Like, we're, I, you guys must all be in the same kind of energy because I don't see anything, like, new. This is not anything new. This is something old. Let me see. To, oh, that's right. Why do I keep doing this? Let me get my tail. Tell me more about this. Here, let me get the second chance and fate up here. And then we'll put longing in different pages up here. Yeah, there's somebody definitely wanting to come back around, Virgo. For you guys, anyway, there's somebody definitely wanting to come back around. Tell me more about what's going on here for Virgos. What's going on here with this connection? Whoa, there's a lot of energy going on. Oh, yeah, you're going to get communication. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez, Louise. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, okay, so for some of you, this was a third-party situation. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Now, 
I, for some of you, it's a third party, okay? Some of you might get your wish fulfillment here. You've been feeling unfulfilled. You've been going within, like, trying to be patient and trust your intuition about a certain connection that you have with somebody here because you know that it's a faded connection and you know that it deserves a second chance. But even though you know this person is longing for you, you can feel them, you already know it's like you feel like you'll never get anywhere with them. That's why you're iffy about this connection. This person's trying to come back changed. They really are trying to come back changed. Like they want a like, they want a collab again. Like they want a coming together somehow here. They might try to do it in a way where like it benefits them. Like they might pitch it, you know, like if you're dealing with the Taurus, they might pitch it to you like, give me more time or something like that. Like, you know, just be mindful of the, the way that they're trying to come back is what I'm getting. Okay, Virgos, okay, I will be right Virgos, back. sorry. My little doggy nephew came back from um, the doctor. So, where was I? Da, da, da. Yes, be mindful of, like, they're, it, like, it's not that they have ill intentions, but be mindful of them coming back before they healed. Let's just put it that way. Oh, that's right. I wasn't going to grab the tarot. Let's see. Tell me more about this Virgo connection. Tell me more. See, somebody here, like, and it's it's you, Virgo. I'm getting that it's you. It's like, actually, no, it's your person. They don't want to be tied down. It's like that That was the issue before. It's like they didn't really want it to feel, like, tied down, you know? But their, their mindset is changing about it. But just be careful that they come back before they actually have healed. That's all I'm getting. What else? What else? Do I remember? Oh, blessings. Protection, attention, love. Your guides are always with you. They're saying to give it a second chance, right? But to go slow this time. To go slow, you know? Don't rush things before. Like, I always say to people, it's like nobody dates anymore. Everybody's always rushing things and nobody dates anymore, you know? Like, and it's important because that's how you truly get to know somebody. Because how are you going to spend your life with somebody? But then you're like, oh, I never knew that you liked that or I never knew that you did that or whatever. So how did you know? How are you going to get to know them? Look at that, see? Time to confront issues, okay? It's time for them to do it. Look at, and then still, there's still, it's because this is very, very like chem, like chemistry and stuff like that. Like there's a lot of heat here, but the only thing is just be mindful before they come back. Be mindful before they come back. Give me a manifesting soulmate oracle card for my Virgos. They gave you guys two, okay. It says, when you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. So take that as that resonates because that's how this person should come back and that's how you should feel. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't take the false, like, change, you know? Take the actual change, okay? And then it says, you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. Okay, Virgo, so that's what I have for you guys for this month. I hope that it resonates. I hope it helps, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys know how much I love and appreciate you so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, Virgos.